Welcome to blissful Bohol, the 10th largest island here in the Philippines, full of numerous natural sights, adventurous activities and wildlife encounters. We've got a few thrilling days lined up filled with the top experiences for you to check out, so let's get this travel guide started. If you're visiting Bohol, there is a good chance you're staying on or near Panglao, which is Bohol's best beach destination. So while you're here on the island, you cannot miss a quick visit to Duma Luan Beach. The sand on Duma Luan Beach is shallow and white. The clear water is ideal for swimming as well. We really recommend this beach rather than the popular Alona Beach, as there is a lot less tourists here, making it way more relaxing and just an overall better vibe. Especially if you come through the resort as they've got their own area. There are a few people behind us there, but apart from that, it is so nice and quiet and empty. So I really recommend this for your beach visit when here in Bohol. Hanigdanang Cave is definitely a site we did not expect to find when here in Bohol. Crawling down the tight entrance reveals a huge naturally lit underground cavern with a turquoise blue lagoon. Hanag Danan translates to laddered cave. The story has it that the cave was accidentally discovered by a farmer while clearing his land. The farmer then built a ladder down to the hole for the village to enjoy the cool water below. The cave entrance fee is 50 peso per person with another 75 peso fee if you want to go swimming in the lagoon as well. Like us, you might be thinking, is this a tourist trap? While it does get quite busy, there are periods where it's quite quiet in there and it is 100% worth it. I love just diving in there. I needed a life jacket, but Scotty loves splashing around like a fish down there. Just a really, really unique experience that we did not expect here at all. You don't need to do this as a part of a tour. Like us, you can just drive here yourself and go at your own pace, which we really love. Now it's time for some more chocolate, but nothing you can eat because we are at the famous Chocolate Hills here in the center of Bohol. We thought we'd make this adventure just a little bit more interesting, so we have stopped off at Graham ATV and Buggy Rental as we are going to jump in our very own off-road buggy to explore the chocolate hills only for 2,000 peso. We are being sent to our buggies. They have a array, so many quad bikes. Right there, buggies. Welcome to the hall. <laughs> Here we go, buggy time. Our buggy has just died and our guide has gone back for help. We are stranded in the tracks. Uh, not such a great start, but uh, fingers crossed we get going soon. As part of the one hour buggy experience, you drive around the forest, go through some mud, some epic off-road terrain, and then your guide will lead you to the viewpoint. You get to go up there, have a look around, look at the viewpoint, and then jump back in your buggy and go for another hoon around the farms. It is epic, it is dirty, so be prepared to get a little bit of mud on you. We've parked up our buggy behind us, and now we are just going for the little small walk to the Chocolate Hills viewpoint. I don't know about small, it looks like a lot of steps. <laughs> A very DIY staircase here with the bamboo. These extraordinary shaped hills are located in the center of Bohol. There are more than 1700 of these dome shaped hills that have created this strange geological formation that has left geologists baffled. It's also amazing to note that these unique hills are almost uniform in shape and their height varies between 30 and 120 meters high. Probably one of the most popular activities to do here in Bohol is the Lobok River Cruise. Located in southern Bohol, Lobok River's distinctly green but crystal clear water 
surrounded by towering trees is a sight to behold. And as you cruise through the river on a large wooden boat, which doubles as a buffet area for your tour, you'll find a fascinating mix of natural, historical and cultural wonders. The most popular option is to jump on the big wooden boats, which are part of most of the day trips here in Bohol. The other option you have to do is to drive yourself here and hire one of these private boats for yourself, which is a little bit more peaceful and way more up our alley. We will leave a link in the description to the location of this place as they just have a couple of boats here. You can't pre-book or contact them beforehand, but definitely come here. This is this little island that you get to stop at on this cruise where you get to look at these amazing waterfalls just in front of me. One important note to mention is that it has been raining a lot here the last three to four days and so the water is not looking crystal clear as it usually does so ignore the slightly brown water that is a there's a slight super typhoon out here in the Philippines so yeah not the cleanest water today but you can just imagine if it was clean it would look beautiful. Native to the Philippines the palm-sized tarsia is the world's smallest primate. Best known for its big bulging eyes, the nocturnal creature is notoriously shy, making it unlikely to spot one if you're in the wild. While there are a few places to view these wonderful little creatures, make sure you visit the official site run by the Philippine Tarsia Foundation. Make sure you don't go to the wrong one. The unethical one is in Lobok, which is near the river cruise, whereas the correct, nice, ethical one is here in Kerala. It's 150 pesos per person, and included in that price, you get a tour guide. You go around with a tour guide, and he points out where the tarsiers are in the tree. It's really helpful because they are so small, and I don't think you would find any of them on your own. This is an extremely ethical tour. They ask you to be super quiet because this is their sleep time and they're out in the wild in their natural habitat. It's a really cool experience. He opened his eyes just for us. If you want to dive headfirst into some delicious Filipino cuisine, we highly recommend Sisa Bistro, which is right behind me, for some high quality Filipino dishes. The dishes here are beautifully cooked and presented even better. For our visit, we tried two amazing dishes. One was called Perla, a stewed tofu and ground beef in a spicy red sauce, and then also a tau gao, which is a stewed tofu and eggplant in green curry. Sisa Bistro comes highly recommended, so if you're wary at all, check out those Google reviews and you will see other people all raving about it as well. Next up, we have Wild Gelato and Crepe House. You guess it, they serve gelato and crepes. But not just your ordinary crepes, these are overloaded stuff with as many goodies, chocolate, sauces as you can think of. They range from around 200 to 350 peso, depending on what filling you choose. The range of fillings that they have are things like Nutella, chocolate sauce, white chocolate sauce, Ferrero shares, Kit Kats, cookie crumbs, cocoa crumbs, fruit, the list goes on. There is a huge selection and you can also get some gelato ice cream on the side. On the southwest tip of Panglo lies the tourist hotspot of Alona Beach. Filled to the brim with shopping, restaurants, cafes, bars, massage parlors. It is amazing here, busy and has a similar feel to the beachfront at Boracay. As Lona Beach is very close to a lot of the main hotels, expect it to be busy every hour of the day. This is a great place to end the night when you've been exploring Bohol, so make sure you get down here and you might be lucky enough to even catch the fire show which happens around 7.30. If you're like us and encounter a few days of bad weather, then make your way over here to Island City Mall, which is the island's premier shopping mall in Bohol. The mall is a three-story building showcasing cinemas, specialty stores, department store, fashion boutiques, local and international fast food chains, as well as small stores, restaurants, and even a supermarket. It's the perfect way to escape that bad weather or just to have a break from the beach. No guide to Bohol is done without a visit to the crystal clear waters. 
Unfortunately for us, we were hit with a super typhoon on our trip to Bohol and for three days in a row the boat trip got cancelled which was such a shame. I hope this travel guide to Bohol has helped you plan your next trip to this amazing island and be sure to check out these other videos on screen of other experiences here in the Philippines. So don't sleep on that subscribe button, hit that bell!